everybody just arise in our townships and rural areas and set up businesses without licenses and permits. We are going to bring this to an end. And those who are operating illegally, wherever they come from, must now know a warning shot fired by number one. <laughs> the foreigners are there. They said we can't touch them. But they're touching us there. The foreigners are there. Why can't they go there and have to fight those people? Those people are sitting with bombs. They're sitting with illegal firearms. They're sitting with drugs. And the police know it. to investigate our brothers from Africa, our sisters from Africa. We are one thing you say matata um Even if we expel them tomorrow, you will still not get a job. There are no jobs in South Africa because whites are refusing to invest money in South Africa. They've got too many savings in the bank. They've got trillions in the bank. They are refusing to take it out and build industries. There is no Nigerian who stole an industry and hired Nigerians only. There is no Zimbabwean who's got a farm in Naisna or Stellenbosch who hired Zimbabweans. It is your white people who hire Zimbabweans, pay them low so that you can fight amongst yourself as Africans. See them for what they are. Bias Luis and Ababantu, they are causing divisions amongst Africa. Don't glorify these borders. Uti, hey, there is Zimbabwe, there is Nigeria. These borders were never here. These borders were imposed on us by white people who wanted to divide Africa and do what they wanted to do with this continent of Africa. I am ashamed today to call myself a South African. The image that are coming out of Durban make me to be ashamed. You are beating blacks. You are slaughtering Africans. I've never seen you doing that to a Chinese. I've never seen you doing that to a white person who doesn't have papers. I've never seen you do that to an Indian without papers. But once they say it's an African, because you hate yourself, because white people taught you to hate yourself, you kill other Africans. Stop that nonsense. It ends today. We must unite as Africans.